partnership, we wouldn't really be able to fulfill this vision that we're seeing here today. And it's an honor to be standing side by side with him as we go forward to support Sue and the governor and all of you in advance. As Nicole alluded to, the, the title acting director of the Department of Human Services is a new one for me coming just last Thursday. Prior to that, I was in the governor's office as the chief operating officer. And I remember not too many months ago when this whole idea was, it was just an idea. Uh, Ken Payne, I remember being involved, who's the source of so many great ideas in Rhode Island. Uh, Janet Coit, the effervescent warrior for all things good. Uh, Ken Ayers, Courtney Borns, Nicole Pollack, Dr. Alexander Scott, more people than I could mention uh, were there at the comp uh, in those initial conversations to launch this effort. Back then, Sue was at the uh, Northeast Clean Energy Council and was on my speed dial was, as I was helping the governor develop a renewable energy agenda. Uh, and, and now look at this room. She, she started a movement, uh, just as we hoped that she would. Um, and of course, I have to acknowledge Governor Raimondo, who immediately supported this idea the moment she heard of it and, and threw her full support behind it. And we got this, this, this uh, process up and running right away, uh, very fast for state government. Uh, for me, a lot has happened in a short time. As I said, uh, this is a new assignment for me, dating back to just Thursday. Um, <laughs> and in my capacity as acting director of DHS, I one thing in particular, and that's of addressing food insecurity and access to food assistance benefits. We can do better on that. You may have heard about some problems with the rollout of a computer. Uh, and we will do better. Roughly 150,000 Rhode Islanders depend on these benefits. 